Hi, my name is Stephen Hill and I'm a Senior Analyst of Applied Infrastructure and Storage Technologies here at 451 Research. And I focus on the broad range of secondary storage options that are available today. Intelligent hybrid technology changes the model for data protections dramatically. If you look back what we 10, 15 years, what we had was backup. That was all we had. It was a worst case scenario environment where you just took care of what you had. You had a separate copy somewhere else, whether it was on tape or whether it was saved on disk. It was something that was there just in case things went horribly wrong. Today's focus is really on BCDR, our business continuity and data protection. And it's about availability as much as it is about data protection. If your customers or your personnel can't reach your services or your systems, everything stops. And not only do you lose the time that was lost during the outage, you have to go back and redo everything that you might have done in the interim. We find that about a third of the companies that we talk to on an annual basis have some form of serious interruption throughout the year. And the interesting thing about hybrid cloud is that it provides an ideal framework for dealing with these types of outages. We would have given our IT for this kind of technology 10 years ago, something that's geographically separated, something that's easy to reach via the internet, something that is on demand and always available and something that is scalable as you need it. That's just the ideal platform for which you can use to provide ongoing protection for your business environment. Establishing an intelligent data strategy isn't necessarily easy, but it's really critical. All data is not created equal. That's the problem. And we're at a point right now where there's so much data that nobody knows what to do with it. And it's too dangerous to delete it. And it's becoming more dangerous to store it. The problems are growth and scale that we had never considered and humans just can't keep up with it. So an intelligent data strategy helps you set priorities establishes a value proposition of your data and provides guidance in the way that that data should be handled for its entire life cycle. We're regularly asked where there's a single solution to be able to deal with the next generation data protection disaster recovery. Ultimately, it's about a common management environment, unifying policies across all of your platforms whether it's storage or whether it's application spaces. We, we look for a single pane of glass. That's, that's the gold standard. And slowly but surely, we're getting to a point that hybrid technology and the automation offered by the hybrid cloud gives us the tools and the abilities to be able to pull all these together in a common management space that ensures policies are followed, data is made available for all uh, uses, and is protected and secured throughout its entire life cycle. Getting long-term value from your data is a new challenge. We're spending a lot of money and spending a lot of effort in keeping all this data. And analytics is the first way that we can get ongoing value. It, whether it's understanding the contents of that data through our analytics or utilizing that data as part of a historical analytics process. This is something that's always evolving and analytics is something that is going to have a long-term value proposition for data. A second challenge is compliance. Rules like GDPR and CCPA put some serious legal concerns in terms of protecting personal data and personal information. And it doesn't matter whether it's a database or unstructured data, you have to be able to comply with that and with other industry standards like HIPAA. A third option, and I think a real value proposition long term, is automating the archiving process. By understanding your data, you can build out a, a clean and easy to use archive of your information so that you can go back to it and be able to repurpose it for any kinds of future uses. This is going to become really useful for things like IoT data, where you're going to be collecting data from numerous sources and you'll be able to create cross-references between that data.
It's a new environment and we have new opportunities because of it.